Today marks the opening of the sports facilities at Furness College. It's the official opening of those facilities. Um, we've worked for, for a long time in, in, in putting together the plan for the facilities and so it's great, great that we're finally here. Hello everybody and welcome to, um, especially to our special guests, to Mike Gatting and representatives of various sporting bodies, especially ECB, who very generously made a significant contribution to this funding of this great hall. This facility is absolutely brilliant, not just for the students here in the college, not just for sports students, for all students, and for the, the greater community. The facility will offer us our player pathway, the opportunity to develop. So if you're a child coming in, or you're a girl coming in, you will have the opportunity to play in a, in a great area. We'll be playing cricket 12 months of the year. We've never really been able to do that. So we'll be offering Different, different cricket activities to various people. From the outset, this whole development of the sports facilities here at Furness College has been about partnerships. From the first seed of an idea for, for this facility with Bob, which led to the ECB grant and ultimately ensured that this sports hall had been completed to the highest technical specification. But I'm sure with this facility and with all the people that are here, that will certainly put Barry and Furness on the map, and especially Furness College here, where you now have something that you can all be very, very proud of. Hey, here and now, you have something that is very special, and I hope you use it well, and I would like to uh, ask Anne up to help us open this wonderful facility. What we're asking is that Georgia goes and gets ready to um, the mic to send a ball from the bowling machine out to Georgia, and when she hits it, we are officially open. So no stress, Georgia. <laughs> quite honoured to be part of it because it's going to be such a such a big event for the college. I play for England's under-19 women development squad and Lancashire women's first team. I'm in the 19s now so it's the academy the next step and then first team hopefully. Today has been so special because um, we've been able to celebrate all the really good resources that we've now got as part of the college. Well, just walking into the place has been absolutely stunning. Uh, when you see how much money has been spent on refurbishing the whole place, is, uh, is, it is quite stunning. You, you sort of walk in and there are the two 3G football pitches and uh, just artificial pitches and lots of people already on it. Um, you just can't but help, crikey, what, what else is inside and what else is, uh, is in there that's going to sort of make a huge difference to, to the local community. What's unique about the sports facilities is that they're all very high, high quality, uh, the 3G pitch the fitness suite and the sports hall are all of the highest quality and particularly the sports hall with its um, added specification to meet the needs of cricket at, the, at a regional level so it's got enhanced lighting, flooring, netting and, uh, and, and technology to support uh, cricket coaching. And it does mean that people in the community don't get, often get the chance to have special facilities and when I say special I mean outstanding facilities to help the local community, the kids, um, the grown-ups, the disabilities, the women's and girls, everybody a chance to come in and play any sort of sport. Well, sport has always been very important to the people of Barrow. Um, we've got lots of people involved in lots of different sports and I think uh, this is the icing on the cake to actually have a college that can offer um, young people who are interested in studying sport and, and taking sport as a career um, can actually do it on the doorstep. <laughs> 